Recently, people have been putting off going to the doctor, getting vaccines, and even going to the ER, all because of fears of COVID-19. As Consumer Reports explains, putting off those visits may not outweigh the risks of infection. And in today's On Your Side, News 8 Now's Martha Koloski shows us it's important to get the medical care you need, even during a pandemic. Four weeks, Charlie Bednarsh was experiencing persistent back pain and shortness of breath, but she decided not to see a doctor. I felt that I wasn't sick, but just didn't want to go to the hospital, use up the resources. Atticus, her trained therapy dog, sensing something might be wrong, started howling constantly. Charlie finally decided to call her cardiologist, who convinced her to go to the ER. She says, you suffered a, like a major heart attack, and I'm thinking, you talking to me? Charlie is not alone. Almost half of Americans said they or a family member skipped or put off medical care because of the coronavirus pandemic. People should not ignore serious symptoms. If you are experiencing a medical emergency, including signs of a heart attack or a stroke, call 911 or go to the ER immediately. If you're unsure if you should go in for a screening test, office visit, checkup, or procedure, give your doctor's office a call. They can let you know whether you should come in or not. The same applies to contacting your child's pediatrician about keeping your kids up to date with vaccines. Going to the doctor will likely look and feel different, though. Beforehand, you may also be screened for COVID-19 symptoms by phone or email, and your temperature might be checked before stepping in the door. When you do arrive at the doctor's office, you may be asked to come alone and wait in the parking lot instead of the waiting room. You should take the same precautions when going to your doctor's office as you would going anywhere else in public. So wear a mask, try to stay at least six feet away from other people, don't touch your face, and wash your hands or use hand sanitizer after touching anything. After her surgery, Charlie has returned to the hospital several times for follow-up visits and has felt safe every time. If you are experiencing anything that's different, at least make the call. For News 8 Now, I'm Martha Koloski on your side. Now, you can also expect a lot of the same changes at your dentist's office. And for those who need to replace things like crowns or fillings and bridges, those could take priority over those who are due for a routine cleaning. So if you have to delay that cleaning, remember to brush and floss regularly.